122 gigahertz is an amateur radio band. There's activity and distance records and some contesting. 122 gigahertz has significant attenuation due to atmospheric absorption. Specifically, oxygen gets in the way. I've been working on a 3D printed rig for 122 gigahertz. This was sparked by a request from Alan Devlin, VK3 XPD, for a 3D printed subreflector for a Cassegrain dish. People generally get by with a flat subreflector, but you can get better performance if it's a hyperbolic curve matched to the feed and parabolic dish. So what is this band good for? Well, car radar for one thing. That's what Silicon Radar does. They're a company in Germany, and they have a radar development board and millimeter wave integrated circuits, or MMICs, for 122. The patch antennas are actually on the chip. The dev boards were used in this experiment. They send out a wide, chirped radar signal and measure the return. There is software provided by Silicon Radar that runs the dev board. The goal for Microwave Update 2018 was to verify a 3D printed Cassegrain antenna design for 122 gigahertz amateur use. This design was adapted from the customizable Cassegrain dish by Dr. Xenocide on Thingiverse. The link is in the show notes. This thing creates a customizable Cassegrain reflector dish. It was created using the equations from the paper by Peter Hannon, microwave antennas derived from the Cassegrain telescope, and IRE, transactions on antennas and propagation. Volume 9, number 2, pages 140 through 153, from March 1961. The antenna parts were designed in OpenSCAD. The 3D model was specified. The parts were printed. The resulting pieces were metallized with MG chemicals, conductive paint, and then the parts combined into their final form. The assemblies were taken to Microwave Update 2018 and set up in the demonstration room. Here's what happened next. All right, here we are. Let's show them something, Paul. It doesn't matter who's pointing, but not really. Right. It doesn't matter. There's a formula for figuring out how the second, depending on the gain of the first. Good. It's detecting your hand at about 1.7 meters. got so much gain today that it doesn't matter. I'm running out of arm. And no okay. gain. That's a pretty good demo. The second yeah. stage used to contribute to the total. Here we are. All right, now we're seeing the ceiling. But if we start to move it around, we'll see the ceiling at further distance or the wall, which is closer. Or a hand, which is even closer. The screen, which is super close. Awesome. In that direction, there's, there's nothing for a ways. <laughs> <laughs> Something strange over there. It doesn't have a peace sign detector. Ooh, there we go. Okay. So you can sort of paint the room. Yeah. With a little, with the right signal processing, you could probably get a 3D model of the room. Yeah. Ooh. You'd need to, probably an accelerometer on the radar as well, so you could tell which Ooh. direction was which. Oh boy, another project. Yes. I think it's already been done. Don't. But not by us. Cool, thanks. So, what were the results? Here's some screenshots from the Silicon Radar software, with and without the Cassegrain antenna installed over the stock lens in the dev board. And there's more. Please read Mike Lavelle's wonderful report on his efforts with the Silicon Radar chip in building a simple 122 gigahertz transceiver. The link is in the show notes. Mike has a tremendous amount of expertise and enthusiasm for the higher microwave bands and is a fantastic mentor. What's next? Well, building a radio. Stay tuned and stay on the air.